everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome to Nine Patch Along block number two. Today we're going to be stitching some straight lines. So grab your machine quilting ruler and let's get stitching. Nine Patch Along block number two. This fun design is going to be a variation of my vertical straight line design. We're going to be using my mini four-in-one machine quilting ruler. And as you can see, I have one of my fun piece and quilt pop socket ruler grips on the back. That really just gives me something extra to hold on to while I'm machine quilting. I love to stitch in the ditch, so I'm going to start out this design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of my block. Anytime you're doing stitch in the ditch work, make sure you're using the proper tools, but also that you're holding your ruler a quarter of an inch away from where you want your thread to stitch. The markings on the machine quilting ruler are based off of your needle position. So with this design, I am going to space my lines evenly, one half inch apart. I'm going to use the first marking on my machine quilting ruler and line that ruler up right on top of my previous stitch line to keep my spacing nice and even throughout. Once I have completed my stitch in the ditch work around the outside of the block, now I'm going to move to the center of the block and I'm actually going to do my stitch in the ditch between my blocks first. The reason that I'm choosing to do it first versus last on this design, my stitching is going to overlap each time I stop and adjust. Because of that, I want to know that I am stitching on my original straight line, the one that's going to be the most straight. So that will be my foundation. That's what I'm going to stitch out first. Once I have all of my stitch in the ditch work complete, now I'm ready to begin stitching. So in all of my yellow blocks, I am going to be stitching vertical straight lines. In all of my purple blocks, I'm going to be stitching horizontal straight lines. A fun way just to create an extra bit of interest. Now I am using purple thread to quilt out this whole design. I wanted my design to pop just a little bit using a slightly off color, a nice pastel purple like I'm using here, I'm able to do that and end up with great results. So as I'm stitching out this design, I start stitching. For me, I'm working on my long arm machine. Because of that, it's most comfortable to start on the left side and work my way across. That's what feels most natural to me. You could start anywhere you want. You could start in the center of this block if you would like. There's no rules. So once I've stitched that first block, I'll travel to the second block. This time I'm going to use the bottom of the block as the foundation. So I'll simply place my machine quilting ruler so that first marked line is right on top of my previous stitch line, which may be the bottom edge of the block. Then I'll stitch a straight line over to the opposite ditch. At that point, I'll stitch up the ditch, moving up a half inch. I've not done any marking because I'm just using the markings on my ruler. So along my ditch, I may need to stop and adjust slightly. And then I'll repeat that process. So when I get over to my third block, then again, I'm going to switch. Still stitching those evenly spaced lines, but this time we're going to go back to vertical. By alternating the direction of the lines, it creates a lot of interest but still keeps the block really nice and simple. So once I have that block complete, I've stitched the three blocks across my top row. I'm going to travel back down, come back to the left side and repeat that process. Now this is strictly because that's what feels most comfortable to me. If you're comfortable working on that right side and moving from there across, after you've stitched that third block, you could move down and start stitching on the block right below it. There is no rules. When quilting designs like this, I love to use the so fine thread. Even though I'm using an off color here, 
it's such a fine thread that if I do stitch over my previous stitch line, like you can see I'm doing a couple of times, I don't feel like I get a really big thread buildup. It just blends really nicely. So I'll continue that process, alternating the direction of those lines, working my way across that second row. Once I have that second row all complete, then I'm going to repeat that process, stitching through that center line across my ditch. And again, I'm going to start on the left side and work my way across left to right, starting with those vertical straight lines in the yellow section, the horizontal straight lines in the purple section, and back to the vertical lines in the last yellow section. I hope you all found just a bit of inspiration from this fun nine patch quilt block. I love this design. It's so simple, but so crisp and so effective. I can't wait for nine patch number three.